Hi, I'm Pastor Goodman. So the Lord's Prayer, at least as Jesus delivered it to us, ends, deliver us from evil. Amen. Deliver us from evil, because that's actually kind of the point of all of the other petitions. Um, in, in other words, instead of seeing this as just one more thing that we need, um, when Luther sat down with the Lord's Prayer, he saw something given to us by our Lord, that this is a summation of all of the other petitions put together. In other words, this is not a distinct petition, but what all of the other ones were working toward all along. In the large catechism, he writes, But this matter he has put last. For if we are to be preserved and delivered from all evil, the name of God must first be hallowed in us. His kingdom must be with us, and his will must be done. After that, he will finally preserve us from sin and shame and besides from everything that may hurt or injure us. See, when we are taught to pray deliver us from evil, we can actually start to recognize that our prayer can't actually do that. Can't get it done. You cannot pray hard enough to make the devil leave you alone. You cannot pray hard enough to, to enter heaven. You cannot pray hard enough to find the forgiveness of sins. Prayer can't deliver you from evil, but a cross can. A merciful God willing to suffer for sinners, for you, he can do it. And he has taught you to pray, not that you would find the magic words to somehow trick God into giving you the things that he actually wants you to have, but that you would have comfort. Prayer is chiefly about comfort. That even as we feel the pains of evil, the barbs of the devil in this world, as, as we run up against that last great enemy death, he would have us uh, equipped to, to say, look, I mean, has not God's name already been made hallowed in you? Are you baptized? Have you not already received his kingdom? Has his will not been done? The only real question is, I mean, do you honestly think that the devil can somehow undo everything that God has worked so far? And if not, then be at peace. Because God's work is going on even without our prayer. But the joy is, in prayer, we start to see where and how it is done among us also. It, it seems like a lot of these things that we're looking for, they, they're not actually played out in our lives yet. Um, and so we find the excuse in Christianity to ignore this world and all the problems that we're in, the ones that God actually says should drive us to prayer in the first place. And, and there we, we lose out if all we do is sort of make Christianity a someday heaven. Because the thing is, you are now a saint because you are now baptized, which means that your end is already blessed. God has already promised to take you from this valley of sorrow to himself in heaven. But even as he comes to you now in his body and blood, he he works this deliverance from evil that we need. Even now and here, his name is already hallowed for you. His kingdom comes for you in word and sacrament over and over. His will is done for you so that as you finally get to conclude the prayer that our Lord has taught us, deliver us from evil, you can find comfort. This is a comfort for a people struggling to see where and how God has already done these things and whether or not he will continue to work until we finally see the completion of it on that last great day. And so we have this prayer, and we pray it every day, because this is what faith does. It clings to God's promises. It finds comfort and hope in what God does for us. The Lord's Prayer teaches us that we can finally be honest about everything that's going on, and we don't need to kick Christianity down the road to heaven, but we can actually find comfort in the gospel given here and now for sinners in need. It points us to the word and works of God now. And it grants comfort enough to know that we don't need to add to the prayer with our emotion or with our many words or, or with praying it often enough or anything like that. God has already taken care of everything need to deliver us from evil. He has got this under control. And the joy as we study the Lord's Prayer is that with each petition he gives us, he actually shows us how. And there, again, we find comfort. <laughs>